there are still places that have the smaller, slighter guy from Alabama as their number one. He is not your number one. He is in your tier two, though. Yeah. And I will say you do have two quarterbacks. I have two in, in my tier, tier two. two. Right. So let's start with your number two quarterback in this year's draft class. That man is? Is Bryce Young, Alabama, right? The, the Bryce Young, 5'10", 204 pounds, won the Heisman, played in the national championship game. The natural, that's what he is. He's as natural at playing the position as you're going to see. He makes so many great quarterback plays. He, just like C.J. Stroud, you know, the brain is on another level. Their ability to, like, read defenses, see the field, throw the appropriate throw, right? Knowing when to stop a guy or, you know, drop it over a linebacker but get it down before the safety gets there. And then for a guy that's a college quarterback, like, he's about as slick as you're ever going to – he's as slick as you're going to see. And what I mean by that is, like, you might not see a ton of, like, wow – oh my gosh, throws from Bryce Young, but you see a lot of wow, oh my gosh, releases and stuff like that where you go, oh shit, that was cool. Whoa, his feet were all cockeyed and they weren't even on the ground and he threw a slant route as he was kind of moving up in the pocket, right? You know, his ability to throw slants and screens and all that, he can be like Mahomes where he can just like flick it out or Aaron Rodgers where you're just like, whoa, was that out quick? Holy crap, right? The ability to... You know, move in the pocket and, yeah, buy times, bounce around, make people miss, and then have this incredible patience for a small guy, too, where you go, damn, they're going to kill you, man. You better watch out. Don't get hurt, right? He just, oh, okay, made a miss. He looks downfield like he's like the Incredible Hulk and like nobody's going to hurt me. Oh, wait, nobody's open? Make the next guy miss. Let me set up again, right? So he's great in those departments. He really is. And then, you know, Dropping his arm angle. Here comes an in-cut. Ooh, the first window's tight. Oh, but he's got to throw it in the second window. Oh, but there's somebody in his face. He could drop it down sidearm, puts it on the money that way. You know, there's really so many good things to talk about, right? He is a very good athlete. He's a great decision maker. He is as aggressive, but not as aggressive as C.J. Stroud. And he can make some wow highlight type of plays. There's no doubt. But he's number two because of his size. And his arm is good, but it's not on the same level as C.J. Stroud. And there's not a lot of ton of what I would call power wow throws. There's a lot of wow throws. Don't get me wrong. He's throwing post routes and moving up in the pocket and throwing cool releases to deep crosses. There's plenty of that. What I mean by power throws is pocket collapsing. There's a receiver down the sideline between the corner and the safety. There's a nice hole there. You know, with people around him, I don't know if he's going to be able to make that throw. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a back shoulder, right? Guy's running a go route. He realizes, oh, wait, the DB's on top of him. Let me throw it behind him. Let me throw a laser I got some people in my face. Let me throw a laser and just kind of lean on my back foot and throw an 18 or 20-yard laser right at his ear hole, right? No, he's not going to do that. That's not what he's going to be, right? You know, so that, that's, that's where he misses a little bit or is not on the C.J. Stroud's level in that department, let alone, like I said, his, his arm strength is not the same as C.J. Stroud's. Right. You know, he's a natural throw in the football. He does fall into a little bit of a, a routine of falling backwards as he throws or leaning back a little bit. That can lead to the ball being just a little off target. It's never bad, don't get me wrong. But I think that would be my overall quick first assessment here as a, a Bryce Young or my first overall statement. No, about you clearly him. like him. Huh? You like yeah. him a lot. You yeah. like the tape. You've compared him a little bit to Patrick Mahomes, who we all know your love of Patrick Mahomes. Sure. I mean, it's up right. there with your wife, I would think. You know, <laughs> it's not up many there. Other people Might up be there. greater. Uh, <laughs> yeah. At times, right? It's for all of us. Uh, but he is 5'10". Yeah. He was 204 pounds at the combine, but everyone's like, well, that's fake. <laughs> There's no well, way. He had weights in his pocket or right. something like that. He probably played more at 185, maybe right. 190 if you're if you're more generous. Um, there are going to be people that say he, he was able to succeed at Alabama despite that. Yeah. So don't be concerned in the NFL despite that, even though he would be the smallest well, quarterback ever to excel yeah. in the NFL. Well, this is where it gets – he's got great feel. 
He does know how to avoid trouble and move in the pocket and do that. But what I'm saying is, like, could his floor be very low? Because we have never seen a quarterback of his size be a great quarterback. Yeah, well, I would – so so we say all that. I don't know. Like I, like I even said, you know, my initial thought on him was right, too. Where I don't know if there's an elite, elite physical trait to jump mm-hmm. at. You know, quickness in his feet, the – Different deliveries are probably the biggest thing. And then his mind. His mind, his ability to know where to go with the ball right. instantaneously and get it out and put the ball in the right spot, that's the best thing. But do I have concerns if he's not behind a really good offensive line and that, like, oh, no, this is an average NFL offensive line and you're going to have issues here? Yeah. And then added to the fact that, you know, we're going to talk about six quarterbacks here. I, I don't think I'm crazy in saying it's fair to say I'm, I'm not sure – He's he's not the fastest. It's he's not the fastest of the six, that's mm-hmm. for sure. I would say actually he's probably when it comes to straightaway running, he's probably towards the end of the six here when we're talking about that. So those are the things that scare you. And then yes, to your point, you go his pass protection is by far the best of anybody in this group. I mean, it's laughable. You have games where you're like Oh, my gosh, he's back there for 12 seconds. Nobody's even around him. He's looked at the field twice. He's went one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Right? I mean, so that there is some of that that goes, yes, wait, is this going to translate all the way to the NFL? Is there that that worries me? Yes, and that's why he's in tier two, you know, with another guy that we're going to hit on in a second. But, yeah, yeah I think there is some concerns in that department for me. Uh, and and like I always say, size is a skill, and there's very few. He's smart, right? So here, let me paint a picture for you. Okay. He's smart. He understands defenses and his own offense. He's great that way. Like I said, he's a natural. So if he if he gets a defense and sees like the two middle linebackers blitz, right? He'll he'll work the middle of the field. He knows they're voided, right? He knows that area is voided, so he'll work the middle of the field. What I don't get a ton of is like, hey, I look to the comeback to the right, right? Now I'm in the pocket. The pocket is getting tight and it's collapsing. And here comes an in-cut from the left. That's my number two read, about 12 to 15 yards. There's very few of those type of throws Mm -hmm. where it's like, hey, he looked at one. Oh, the pocket's getting tight like it does in the NFL. Ooh, it's a tight window throw over the middle of the slot receiver. You got him. Put it on there. He might throw it, but it's never real accurate. Or he throws it just to get it out of his hands so he doesn't get hit or sacked, right? And I will say again to the things that we talked about in a smaller quarterback, when he gets hit sometimes, I mean, it looks super aggressive because his body flies. So you're like, whoa, is he okay? So those are the concerns. That's why he's not number one. But, man, there's a lot to like. And if you get in an offense that's a little more spread-oriented, and you're going to give him space, and you can protect the quarterback. It's going to be about screens and getting it out quick and doing all that type of stuff. He's he he's going to be just fine. Um, but yeah, like I said, size. How can it not scare you a little bit? It's interesting. You you mentioned about him getting hit, throw to the turf, I and mean, we did that see that last year in the NFL with Tua. Unfortunately, a serious concussion for him. It lingered throughout the season. Bill Feed says to you on Twitter, "Isn't Bryce Young a right-handed Tua?" Mm, I so. He's got a quicker release than Tua. He's a quicker athlete than Tua. I think his arm is stronger than Tua's too. And yeah, I, I look at him as actually better in all areas compared to Tua. So I, I, I the comparison's not unwarranted, but I think even with like, you know. His ability, how quickly he can get it out, and even though it's not the most explosive arm, it's explosive in the fact that he could take a seven-step drop, right, um, and, and, and painting a picture again here. And now, wait, nobody's open, right? And he's kind of now running up in the pocket, like kind of attacking the line of scrimmage. I might run. But now sees like a deep crosser 30 yards down the field. He can like, like we showed pictures of Mahomes during the regular season, Kind of being like the full-fledged middle run, like I'm running to, oh, wait, he's open, and just like have his feet go cockeyed and just throw it and get it out quick and accurate and like do stuff like that where I go, no, Tua couldn't do that, not like that.
So I think it's a little bit better of a an athlete overall and a little bit better arm overall than, than what we saw from Tua. If you're the Houston Texans at number two, Frank Reich and Carolina have taken C.J. Stroud number one. You okay taking Bryce number two? Yeah, I'm okay taking Bryce number two. Yeah. But, that you know, again, you're going to have to realize the risk mm-hmm. of what you're, you're doing there with that type of quarterback. And, you know, you're going to have to realize that you know, there might be certain things in your offense. You know, again, if you're not at Alabama and you are throwing a bunch of quick game, like say a lot of three-step games, which they don't throw a ton of quick game because they're so good at protecting, they can do whatever they want for the most part. But if that becomes, hey, we're screens and we're slants and we're quick routes and all that type of stuff, I do wonder about balls getting batted down as well, you know. But he's phenomenal at finding little holes or alleys to get the ball through. That's where he's really great. You know, so, um, yeah, I like the player. You know that. I like the person a lot, too, just from the way he handles himself, the leader, all of that, right? He's got it all, except he does not have a bazooka for a right arm, and he's small. And those are real issues in the NFL, as you know, and that's well documented. So that could cause like a little, a little mini tremor. I well, you know, it's it a could, little mini Sims tremor right there. Like a lot of people are high on Stroud, and so well, I could see it's a teams, mini tremor. I could see teams with you know, yeah, I, I you know again, like I said, but I, I could see teams with Young just going like, well, I, I can't pick a quarterback that size. I just can't do I'm it. Just too worried. Right. I'm just too yeah. worried. It's because just Kyler not for me. and Baker Mayfield and Russell Wilson, not that much bigger. They are bigger, but more solid. You know, that's, Kyler's that's the thing. shiftier, then, different exactly. quarterback. And and just, no, that's the thing we got to remember. Like, we just have never seen someone like Bryce Young. No, exactly right. Game's you know, different, though, like you said. It is different. Protect the quarterbacks. Russell's the, thick, like you said, and Kyler Murray has three rockets up his ass. Yeah. And Game's more horizontal, though, now. Yes, it is. Bryce can and do that, that play, pretty well. And that's exactly right. He can. He can, he can do all that type of stuff so yes that's again where to our question off the top about reevaluating the quarterbacks and the movement quarterbacks and all that from yeah. Adi Adim Adi you know <laughs> ADM, 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 ADM 27 yeah. Yeah, yeah. right that this is one that I had to adjust on as well ADM just uh, send us your real name Adi- right? and then we'll just you know Sounds say your like name ADM from uh, the Wizard of Oz <laughs> maybe it is Thanks for watching, homies. Hit subscribe to see all my unbuttoned videos. You get to see me, Ahmed Farid, all the big player breakdowns, game breakdowns, player interviews, and my film analysis. So please subscribe. Chris Sims Unbuttoned. Peace out.